scathing comments from former Vice President Mike Pence and his strongest rebuke yet of Donald Trump. Pence saying the former president was wrong about January 6th and his words endangered his family and everyone at the Capitol that day. And Pence on how history will judge his former boss. Here's ABC's Ike Ajachi. Tonight, former Vice President Mike Pence delivering his most searing comments yet about former President Donald Trump's role in the January 6th attack on the Capitol. History will hold Donald Trump accountable for January 6th, Pence said. The comments coming at the annual Gridiron Dinner Saturday night, an event attended by politicians and journalists. Pence initially poking fun at several lawmakers and political figures, but his tone eventually shifting, saying one thing I haven't joked about is January 6th. January 6th was a tragic day for our nation. Later adding, what happened that day was a disgrace, and it mocks decency to portray it any other way. Pence also scolding the former president for his actions that day, saying President Trump was wrong for falsely claiming Pence had the power to overturn the results of the 2020 election. Pence telling the crowd his reckless words endangered my family and everyone at the Capitol. A sentiment Pence shared with our David Muir in November during his first network TV interview since the insurrection. I mean, the president's words were reckless. It was clear he decided to be part of the problem. Pence also criticizing those downplaying the events on January 6th, saying tourists don't injure 140 police officers by sightseeing. Tourists don't break down doors to get to the Speaker of the House. Rachel, these comments from former Vice President Pence come after his attorneys filed a motion last week asking a judge to block the special counsel's federal grand jury subpoena for his testimony related to January 6th. Now, we reached out to the Trump campaign and they declined to comment. He's denied all wrongdoing. Rachel? Yeah, we know Pence was only 40 feet from the riders that day. All right, Ike, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.